What's going on? It's your big brother Trent. You're tuning in again to another divine video. It's for the chosen one and the chosen ones only. If you were chosen one, you don't had this happen to you many, many times before. If you're not a chosen one, you're gonna be like, what the is he talking about? I just don't get it. All right. So this message right here, if you're a true chosen one, then you understand exactly what I'm talking about. And if you do, don't forget to leave this video without leaving a comment below and sharing your experiences uh, of this happening in your very own life. OK, I want to hear from you. Stay tuned to the end. You know, I always got something very special if you stay tuned to the end of this video. All right. Listen. Chosen one. Once they discover your identity. They will flee. And they will run and hide. Chosen ones, once they understand your identity, they will flee and they will hide from you. And I'm about to tell you why in this video, all right? You might not think this because you might be the nicest person on earth. You might be so kind to everybody. You might be like me. You wear your heart on your sleeve sometimes. But you will be surprised in the world full of chaos that we live in, as negative as the world is, most people will think it is very strange for you to be as nice as you are. You know, as cool as you are to them, they will think that it's blasphemous. How dare you be nice to me? Because you got to keep in mind, chosen one, you stay in a toxic world. This is an evil environment. The only way, the only reason why you still are maintaining to this day is because of the grace of God. That's the only reason why. All right. And once people or once a group of people that you come in contact with, if you are that true chosen one, like you say you are, you will notice that they will flee from you or they'll try to get rid of you, all right? And sometimes you even have to get rid of yourself because they could be that toxic, all right? And this usually takes about two days. For some time, Sometimes for some people, when you come in contact with them, it might take a week of you knowing this person, you know? Or if you work at your job, they probably already know, but see, a job is different because it ain't like your employees can just get rid of you. It ain't like they can just flee from you because they got to show up to see you every day. You see what I'm saying? It ain't like your boss can just fire you right away. They got to come up with some type, of, some type of plan to try to pin it against you, to try to make you look like a bad person. And it kind of takes time for them to draw out that plan for them to try to fire you and by the way if you work at a job right now you're the chosen one if you ain't got fired yet you will i'm just letting you know that now it ain't no you gonna be able to stay there like everybody else because you're not conforming to their program i'm gonna tell you why in this video most people that you come in contact with chosen one instead of them actually gravitating towards you like you thought they would do you know <clears throat> you might do a whole lot for this person. You, you probably help this person out financially or, you know, you probably like try to help this person uh, with their kids. Anything, any type of help you do to these people. If they recognize your identity, they are automatically going to go against you. The reason why they're going to go against you and the reason why they're not gonna wanna communicate with you and connect with you anymore, most of the time is because they hiding something. And the thing that they're hiding for most of them is their demons. So you don't be knowing this, man. You don't be knowing this, but if you got the gift of discernment, then you, you recognize this easily. Comment below if you have the, the special spiritual gift of discernment just comment below and let me know i want to know who got the spirit of discernment but most people that you come in contact with 
that are attracted to you or they want to reach out to you or they want to cling to you at the very beginning, you, you might not be able to see it. But most of them, if you are the chosen one, most of them will have demons. Okay. Demons are attracted to the light. All right. And they, they take control and possession of a person and they'll come around you because you look like sugar. Okay. You look like sugar. You look like something sweet. Not like that, but I get an example. You know how, like, uh, if you if you grew up like I grew up, I grew up where you know what I mean we had snakes uh, in my in our like uh, area. Like it was a lot of snakes in our area in the country where I grew up out in the country. And my grandma, my grandma and them, they used to go buy lime like in the powder form. And they would sprinkle that lime out all around the house, all around the yard when the summertime come. Because, you know, we will always see snakes like slithering across the road. You know, they will hide up under um, trailers and uh, large trees and stuff like that that fell and broken down. And we'll have a lot of snakes around. And so they would sprinkle this, my grandma and them would sprinkle this lime out everywhere in the yard. Be like white powder in the yard everywhere. Now, if you was a snake and you see that lime, you can smell that lime. It smells good. It smells good to the nose. It's like perfume. It looks good. It look like the soft white. <laughs> if you know what I mean, it look like soft white, snow white. And so the snakes will come out from hiding and they will go up to the lime and they would, they would stick their tongue out and they would touch it and taste it. All to find out that it wasn't sugar. It was sulfur. You feel me? And then they'll flee. And they'll run for their life. You might not ever see that snake ever again. And that's how my grandma and them used to keep the snakes away. You feel me? Because they grew up superstitious like that. They thought the snakes, you know, the, the snake tempted the, Eve in the garden. You know, they were religious. But anyway, the point I'm making is... It's the same way when people discover your identity. These people, they look good on the surface. Most of them look good on the surface. They look good in the looks. But I'm gonna tell you, it's a lot of people that's hiding demons and they cannot connect with you because they know you him. They know you her. And so they'll they'll take themselves away from you and they will never, they will, they'll try to act like they still like you. They'll try to act like they still like you something from time, from time to time. That's why you'll get them coming back into your life after a long time ago. And they'd be like, yo, what's up? Hey, how you doing? And it's like this awkward connection that y'all got. It's real awkward. It's like for tit for tat. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like cat chasing mouse type shit going on. You know what I'm saying? And you just be like. Yo, why they acting like that, yo? Or, or you be like, yo, what? Why he just, why he just, he just leave like that? Like, hey, like, he didn't even get to know me. You know, or vice versa. Like, she didn't even, she don't even really know what I, who I am. But see, any little thing that you do, chosen one, that reveals your identity of your chosenness, if it triggers them, if they detect it, because see, they looking for, they looking for weaknesses. Okay. Most people is looking for weaknesses because they trying to manipulate you. They trying to use you for something. Okay. Everybody, most everybody you come in contact with, they want something from you. They just not going to tell you that. It's going to be very rare that you run into somebody like big bro. And I'm just a cheerful, happy go lucky type of dude. I just want to have fun and chill with you and just kick it and just talk. It's rare that you're going to run into somebody like me. But you can book a session with me, though. That's different. But anyway. um, Yeah, I'm serious. You can book a session with me. That's about as close as we can get right now. Uh, But anyway, like I said. It's very rare that you're running to somebody that's really happy about life like that to the point that they have no restraints. They have no insecurities. They can just be like, yo, what's up? I, I, what's going on with you today? How you doing? What's up? And they don't feel no type of jealousy. It's very rare, ladies. You are running to another lady like that. 
Most of the time, they're going to be critiquing you, judging you, studying you. And this is where it goes bad at for them. Because you probably might be a chosen one. And you're so mysterious and so different and bizarre from most everybody they've come in contact with. You don't do things like everybody else do. And that's what triggers them because they're like, hold on, hold on. He not calling me so much like all the other guys. He's different. He must have something important out there that's better than me. They'll start thinking all kinds of thoughts, fellas. If you run into girls, they'll start, they'll start thinking you got other girls and stuff like that because you just a chosen one. You just different. You ain't got to chase nobody. But see, a lot of people don't know how to handle that. The devils and the Decepticons, they don't know how to handle that because, again, most of the time they're trying to get something out of you. They're trying to manipulate you. So that's one thing the enemy like to do. The, the enemy like to always show you. The, the, these are the cards in my hand. Before I actually screw you over, I'm going to show you the cards in my hand. And if I screw you over and manipulate you, you can't blame it on me. This is how they feel. This is how Decepticons move. And so once they discover your identity, they, they discover you can't be cheated on. You can't be manipulated. Okay? You can't. You can't be real in like a fish. You can't be screwed over on. They can't use you for nothing. They can't get nothing up out of you. You're not giving your attention to them and putting them in the spotlight. You know, you're not putting them on the pedestal. You're not showing up to the stuff like all the other girls do. You're not always answering the phone. You feel me? Because you actually have things that you're actually doing. When they see that you can't, conform to the way that they want you to conform that's when you trigger them that's when the alarms go off and that's when they run and hide because they found out they don't made a mistake they made a mistake oh man hey they just like that snake that went up and thought that sofa was sugar they like oh sh nah i can't I, I, they about to they're gonna expose me see if i continue to talk to this person he gonna expose me he gonna know my demons he gonna see my flaws he gonna see my insecurities because see you the real deal Holyfield. You know what I mean? You got the gift of discernment. You can see through BS. And most people is BS, just like life is BS for them, not us, okay? But once they realize that you are the chosen one, then you realize that they BS. Like they were BSing you the whole time. They wasting your time, but they come in many different shapes and forms and varieties and looks and flavors and colors. And they always look like they, they the most charming thing ever, but really they be some Decepticons low key. Once they, once they realize your identity, they cannot be around in your presence because they can't handle the anointing on you. And it could be simple stuff. Like if you at your job and you come in every day and you the person that got that smile on your face, and you got an up-tempo type of energy, you know, you're just ready to get the day started. You probably got your radio playing and stuff like that. You always come in, you got nice lunches and stuff. They see you be eating good in the lunchroom. You know what I mean? They see the, the stresses of the job is not beating you up and battering you down and stuff like that. That's when you're gonna trigger the Decepticon. They're gonna be like, dang. So no matter, so she not really grumpy like we is. I don't like that. They didn't come in with a frown on their face and they, they don't feel down about this job. I don't like that. And these be the same people who be right there smiling in your face, gossiping to you about things that's going wrong in the job. They really don't want you to be there because you disturbing their demons. See, you disturbing their demons. And they don't, sometimes these demonic entities that's holding these people hostage, they don't got nowhere else to go but to the light. Like a moth attracted to a flame. And they be sitting there talking to you like and you think they, they, they your friend and they just venting or something. No, they bother it. They bother it by you because they realize your identity and they can't stand to be around it, man. It repels things away from you. If you're the true chosen one, like I said, most of the time you won't have people attracted to you, even though they will be. But most of the time you will repel people away from you. They will get away from you because they can feel your anointing. They can feel your vibe. They can feel that you are from the good side. They can feel that you are special. You are different. You are him. 
Somebody comment below and say, I am him. They can't handle it. The, 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 the risks are too high. They're going to have to sacrifice who they are in order to hang with you. And most people just ain't ready to face that truth like that. Because they fake. They Decepticons. Now, again, you might have your little handy dandy, happy go lucky people like me. <laughs> What's up? Hey, What's up? And then, see, you're going to get tired of them. You'll be like, stop. You're bothering me. You stop. You're doing too much. But it could be easy. It could be small little things that trigger that person to realize your identity. It could be your level of intelligence. They ain't used to somebody knowing as much stuff as you know. And you probably had a good conversation with them. They don't like you because you're able to carry a conversation. They don't like you because you're confident when you step outside and everybody else is insecure. They notice that. Oh, you're too confident for me, fellas. You're going to run into a lot of women like that. He's too confident for me. I can't make him into my little beta male. Can't make him into my little dude boy. He too confident for me. Uh, -uh I don't like that. I'm the man in this. I'm the man in this relationship. Uh, uh I'm the man and the woman. I don't. I'm not feminine. I don't like that. Uh, uh. You'll run to a lot of women like that, fellas, who realize your identity as a chosen one. You the real, real deal, Holyfield, bro. She can't push you over. She can't stab you in the back. She can't cheat on you. Uh uh. Uh uh. He he be playing games, y'all. He play too many games. He think he all that. That's what she gonna manipulate it and say. He 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 need healing. You know, that's the number one thing they say, fellas. Who hurt you? He hurt, y'all. He he hurt because he got confidence and he know himself. And he won't let her be the man in the relationship. And she play her role as a lady. <laughs> so she gonna say, who hurt you? You hurt, I, get that pain and that hurt off of you. Who put that pain on you? I like how they word it nowadays. They're making it sound extra stupid. They be like, who put that hurt on you? Get that hurt off of you and that pain. Who, somebody put pain in you. you we need to heal that hurt out of him. <laughs> Decepticons. But once they discover your true identity, this will this will happen every single time. And it don't be you. Don't worry. You do the right thing. You, you smell sweeter than perfume. You feel me? But you the salt of the earth. Everybody ain't willing to taste it. Because they ain't got the mouth for it. It's a big bro trend, man. Thank you so much for tuning in. I told you if you stay to the end, I got something very special. Shout out to all my people out there who don't already... Got the lost information for the star season, the chosen ones, volume five, six, and seven. I got a coupon on it today, y'all. Super, super cheap. If you want to get those volumes, and those archives right now, super cheap. I'm just doing it for y'all. It's getting the end of the month. So make sure you get those. It's going to be at the top of the comment section at the bottom below. Make sure you get your CMOS. I got that down there. I know somebody sent me a message like, man, y'all be sending me crazy questions. I be telling y'all the answers in these videos. It's at the top of the comments. How many times I got to tell you? And I think these be new people, y'all. They be saying crazy, crazy stuff like that. Come on, brother. Get it right. It's at the top of the comments, brother. So, book a session with me. I look forward to talking to you, man. It's hot out here. I got to get in some AC. As it's still 100 degrees out here. If you know the sun ain't shining, y'all. It's Arizona. With that being said, remember, I told you. Once they discover your identity, they're going to run and they're going to flee. And they're going to watch you from the hills. It's your big bro, Trey, man. Peace.